Tenga Tigers got a long history, 80 years of uh, rugby league. We had our uh, 80 years last year and uh, recognised all our players and uh, we had a really good presentation and also for the Group 19 we had three of our, actually four of our players, Andy Blair, Nathan Blacklock, uh, Ray Craigie and Preston Campbell, all in the national uh, team for Group 19 for the 100 years of football. Our local Indigenous boys, our local white boys, it's their whole goal. You've got role models like Nathan Blacklock, Preston Campbell, PJ Ellis and Owe Craigie. Owe Craigie is uh, overseas twice in his younger days, but all got their football grounding in Tinga. Marvellous, marvellous, uh, what would I say, just good people, good footballers, love their football and you'll never take it away from Tinga. Uh, today we had a, um, had a big day of rugby league, football, um, had the juniors early, had, um, you know, had the ladies playing Oztag and in the, uh, the three games, the reserve, uh, juniors reserve grade and first grade. Uh, the, guys, the guys are just a bunch of blokes that turn up each week, you know, um, they, work, they work all week and their weekend fun is playing rugby league, so you know, it's good to grow up with the guys and you know, they're a great bunch of blokes, you know, they enjoy their day. Starting at uh, 9 o'clock this morning, we had little under 8s, we had the under 16s, we had our ladies league tag, only their second game. Five all draw, they're ecstatic the girls are, and then we had the uh, juniors. We were beaten uh, by four points, but they've had a good game. President's Cup, we beat Bingra on the day, and the big one today between Inverell Hawks and the Tinga Tigers, we had a wow of a day right down to the wire, and Tinga got up 26-22. So it was a good day. I do a little bit of every, everything. I'm the, for 30 years, I've been the licensee of the club. That's completely voluntary labor. We build it ourselves. No one pa is paid except the cleaner. It is not the football clubs. We built it for the community of Tinga, so all organisations own that club. For, um, any club has got the volunteers and the number of hours there that are put in by people from all, all walks of life that do everything from cooking the steaks to, um, as you said, mowing the lawn, um, ordering the strapping, coaching, um, ordering the buses, uh, the jumpers, you know, the list just goes on and on. The, the job of administering a country rugby league club is just huge, like the number of man hours to go into an organisation, any any club or or group is, is quite onerous, quite quite big. What do you think about the crowd that comes today? Mate, it's awesome. You know, Tinga's going to get bigger crowds, they always have, and I uh, know oh, everybody just loves the little town of Tinga. Just tell them all through, the juniors right through, so it's, it's where they, you know, they make that transition to, um, to playing actually country football to more of an upper, upper level, you know, this, this league back here is struggling a bit, but the players they've got here are really good players, you know, there's so many in the juniors, um, you know, too many to mention, but the way they played, mate, they're, um, you know, they're tough, they're tough blokes. They play for loyalty, they don't play for money or anything like that, it's just loyalty to the town. We're only 800 people in this town, Inverell's got 12,000 people to pick from, but it's the love of the game and loyalty to Tinga, and inadvertently too loyalty to their heritage because born and bred here, we are Nakuruma, Camilleroy country, we're, we're here, we're one and all, one and all we are.